Work log 20241114. Head of Reclamation, Axel Grimes. The pile grows ever larger, and the Dominion, with all of its amazing technology and resources, has finally blessed me with more storage units to keep up with the ungodly amount of garbage that keeps piling up here in NeoCity 13. Oh wait, my bad. I mean the Omni Waste Reclamation District. Funny, all of this progress, and yet we're still knee-deep in yesteryear's trash. Glad the Dominions got me living in it. Really the job I dreamed about as a kid. I mean, before the mandatory placement aptitude test, or whatever. One shining light through all of the mountains of refuse is that we've finally been approved in the recovery yard to utilize PCBWay services. They offer advanced 3D printing, PCB prototyping, and manufacturing services, making it really easy to create custom, intricate components. In our case, we desperately needed more sorting bins to throw in the stored units, and they did a bang-up job getting the parts we needed. I also threw in a few uh, extra special stuff for myself. A wise man from Savage Industries once said, drawers are where tools go to die, but boxes are the bane of my existence. Thankfully, we can finally get these crates out of the way and utilize the parts inside of them, eventually. As far as chores go for Papa Dominion, we're good, for now. The pile is, of course, still untamable, but we can move on to something I'm actually interested in doing. Look, Neo City 13 is a lawless land. Poor scavs are living in the garbage, literally. We have whole zones of shanty towns full of outlaws, and for the most part, we're cool. They don't get in the way of operations, and we leave their shacks standing for a while longer as we focus attention elsewhere. The Dominion may be king in the Omniplex, but Neo City 13 is different. And they would rather be hands off than get a bit of scum and rust on their boots down here. That being said, we still have to get approval through appropriate channels to do whatever we want to do around here since the Omni Waste Reclamation District is funded by them. And they fund me and they'll probably kill me if I don't do my job. And what do you know? After months of red tape and waiting, we finally got the green light to build a mech, a shiny new construction machine to help us push trash around slightly faster. Truly groundbreaking. The actually amazing thing is that we have an unlimited budget, always for any project that gets approved because we can use anything in the recovery yard. And let me tell you, the pile has everything in it. All waste from the entire Omniplex, every single Neo City sends their waste here. <laughs> I'm the king of resources compared to anyone in this godforsaken world. Unfortunately, we don't get paid to make the mech or extra time to build it. We have to make it as unpaid overtime because the mandatory tasks are higher priority. Fine. I'm getting my mech, no matter what. Anyways, I've already been working on the thing. For the most part, I know where all of the good stuff is, but sometimes we need specialized parts you're just not getting from recycling. Taking full advantage of the Royal Archive approving PCB way, I've also put in a special order for more functional parts that will dramatically improve the likelihood of this rust bucket functioning. The Dominion needs a machine title for whatever auditing reason, so I slapped Reclamation Extractor on the papers, but I'm gonna call him Rex. 
Rex has already been a problem child at times, but no real issues yet. The arms are equipped with PCBWay engineered joint assemblies at both the shoulders and elbows, ensuring a solid pivot for the hydraulic pistons that power their movement. Speaking of which, the hydraulics will be described in this lock, but I'm not there yet. After a bit more scrap, some magnetic latches from storage, and bada bang, we're getting ourselves a chunky boy. Admittedly, the arms took longer than I was hoping for, but the legs were, well, they took longer. Part of the issue is that the housing I wanted for all of the hydraulic motors and pumps and safety mechanisms and yada yada needed some work to rebalance it and provide enough strength to actually hold up this Titan. And yes, to whatever scribe at the Royal Archive is in charge of auditing my logs, which is hilarious and I hope you're having a great day dealing with me. We do, in fact, follow safety protocols. As much as I complain about red tape and failing systems that take forever to get through, I'm not about to die isolated under a broken refrigerator from 200 years ago at a job I didn't want because some idiot tried to use the forklift without enough blinker fluid. And yes, I also train the new guys that come through here. Well, sort of. I make sure that someone trains them. I don't have the time with the literal pile absorbing the city. For any new guy or gal listening who is wondering, yes, the pile is the technical term for it. You can see it from every corner of the district and the neighboring Neo cities. The Dominion was really clever with that one. And because I'm rambling now, a point of clarification, I didn't ask for this job, but I bet you it's the most important one in the Omniplex. And I'm going to do it better than anybody else. Think about it. We're not getting any new resources. We're completely trapped in here while the collective is assaulting us day and night from the outside. This pile of garbage is the only resource we have for producing anything we need. And I'm in charge of getting it processed. Not much glory in it, but every hunk of metal I pull out of here is one less piece rotting in the heap. We keep the wheels of the Omniplex turning, whether they care to look down and notice or not. Anyways, something something logging information. Does anyone actually need this audit? I built the legs and stuff. At any rate, the arms are more interesting to talk about. After straightening some slightly bent rods we recovered, and by we, I mean me and the guy with the forklift, I started designing the hydraulics for the arms. I cannibalized some oversized pistons that are generally used to keep apartments from collapsing while under construction, and man, are they sturdy material. Super lucky that I found some hydraulic bearings with inlets built in, but they needed some surface grinding to fit with the other reclaimed materials. After making sure the piston rod fit within the new cylinder housing, I forged the end a bit just to make sure it could fit within an appropriate pivot adapter. It's a lot of finicky work making an entire mech, but it's such a welcome reprieve from sorting junk all day. Unfortunately, you can't win them all, and the piston rod was of course too short for the assembly. Oh well, back into the pile it goes, and some new ones are put together even faster the second time around. Impeccable. Exemplary. Chef's kiss. And... 10 minutes, that's the quota. See ya, nerds. Okay, fine, we'll close this out properly. I only added a bit of shielding to the shoulders anyways. 
With some heavy lifting, the basics of Rex is assembled and ready for wiring, hydraulic tubing, whatever else you can imagine. He's not done yet, but I seek progress, not perfection. Jokes aside, thanks for supporting the Royal Archive. Support me, support the Royal Archive. End log 20241114.